Uh, well, welcome along to another uh, high vis occasion here in uh, Christchurch. Uh, can I acknowledge the presence with the, the Mayor of Christchurch, uh, the Chief Executive of New Zealand Transport Agency, Chief Executive from the Council, Chief Executive from uh, ECAN, uh, our ECAN Commissioner uh, Rex Williams and uh, Roger Sutton from CERA as well. These uh, plans as they come out mark milestones along the way toward getting Christchurch back onto uh, the right track. When you were in the bus today going around you still see the extensive damage that's been caused to the city uh, and as the demolition is uh, undertaken you get a sense of just how big the need is for that reinvestment in the city and for some certainty for investors uh, around their decisions. So this uh, is a, a draft transport plan that goes out for consultation. I don't think there's ever been a transport plan produced anywhere that lasts forever. Uh, so it is a, a start at getting some certainty uh, for those who will be making investments, those who will be uh, wanting to come and live in the city in the future as well. The features of it are that uh, some of the one-way streets become two-way streets, other streets that were two-way become one-way, uh, and more importantly, the commitment to making it a pedestrian fr uh, a friendly zone uh, is reinforced with the two traffic speeds proposed. One is the 50 k's uh, per hour on the uh, more arterial type roads that will bring people in and take people out of the city. And then in the interior, the 30 kilometres an hour uh, with some of the slower treatments to streets to make sure that we do get that good blend between uh, the pedestrian requirements and the requirements of the traffic. If you've got any other uh, questions, I'm sure that uh, Warwick will be able to answer those details. Just one other small announcement. From midday tomorrow, uh, access to Victoria Square is being uh, granted. The cordon is coming back. It's a pedestrian access between 7am uh, and uh, I think uh, 9 o'clock in the evening. And that will allow people to uh, have a look in that part of the town for the first time since February the 22nd. And all of these uh, small steps uh, just get us closer and closer uh, to the point where our city is uh, substantially rebuilt. We've got a, a very strong um, CBD plan that's proposed and uh, to bring that plan together you have to have a transport plan that, that will uh, give it some life uh, and you need to go out and consult with people about what they're thinking about it. So if we uh, constrained ourselves from that wider public thought right at the start uh, then I don't think you get the same sort of result. So if you look at uh, the process that uh, uh, the Christian City Council went through with the share an idea process, if, if that process was started with you know, already in place constraints around uh, financing, I don't think we'd have got the same sort of uh, buy-in from the public that, that came out of that. And that was uh, probably in international planning terms one of the best exercises that uh, you'd see anywhere in the world. So I think we get the ideas, get what people uh, think is a good idea, uh, and then uh, work out how we do it. That's pretty much what we've done so far through all of this. Well, the Share an Idea campaign definitely spoke about uh, open spaces, pedestrian friendly, and the consequence of that is that you've got to balance uh, traffic movement in a city that uh, we would predict is going to grow over the next decade, decade and a half, and, uh, and also, but also have that uh, concept of being a, a pedestrian friendly city uh, preserved as well. Public transport's a huge part of this, uh, and uh, you know the work that's being done by uh, all the local authorities around that is uh, designed to ensure that we get more people using public transport. Once you've, you know, pushing down that track, you want to make sure that when people do use public transport, they've got an ease of uh, of, of carrying out their activities uh, when they get to where they want to go.